the Tournament of Champions. Whipped my ass. But now, I kind of have an idea on what I want to do here. The combatants have arrived, and the stage has been set. Let us introduce the champions who will fight for like, the I want to, um, of their nations. I want to just pull all my units back and let them General come to me Abdul. more than I did last time. Fighting for the honor of the holy state of Hyzant, Minister Exham Marshall. Fighting for the honor of the kingdom of Glenbrook, House Wolfort. And last but not least, the victor of our previous tourney, Sir Maxwell the Donspear. I'm not sure if this sounds really loud or not. The but... Wolfort Lordling is here in his father's stead, I see. Lord Simon's heroics on the battlefield are the stuff of legend. A pity I couldn't match swords with him today. You will match swords with me. I promise to make it every bit as exhilarating as father would. You have his spirit, if nothing else. Sir Noah, we got our ass whipped. I look Calm forward down. to crossing swords with you. The combatants have assembled. Now, let the battles begin. I shall announce our first pairing as chosen by lots. Minister Axham and Lord Walfort make ready for combat. Well, I mean, it should be the exact same. I didn't change anything. The before battle music is also very good. Like, very good. I'm also only like four tracks into this game, and every track is absolutely banged so far. So that's always good. You know, I love me the music. Love me that video game music. Let's go. Um, let's maybe put you back here. Yeah, honestly, I'm pulling everyone back. We'll wait for them to come to us. It's the perfect plan, okay? Sarah Noah is level one in that screenshot in this fight. They're fricked. They don't stand a chance. Be gentle, my lords. I'm not as strapping as once I was. I don't trust you. You whipped my ass last time. I expect no quarter from you, Prince Roland, nor from you, Lord Sarah Noah. Show us the sword play your house is so famous for. I'm gonna try. They're two of Hyzant's most famed generals. We'll have no room for mistakes. Then we shall make none. Now, let us show the realm the medal of the new generation. <laughs> yeah, it is Papa. <laughs> for honor and glory! Okay, here we go. Your orders? Pull it back. We wait. Charge! We wait for them to come to us. Shall we begin? The hunt is on. All four can get her there. This is insane. From where shall we strike? It's fine, it's fine. There is no mercy on the battlefield. <laughs> I didn't know that, Papa. It's so strange. <laughs> So we're gonna bulwark. Sarah Noah. Much appreciated. The rhino, cool. 
Okay, end of turn. I'll take you on! And we're gonna leave Eridor here. We'll both attack him there, so I don't want to move him. I'm going to keep him here. Okay, come on. Come on. Ooh, look how close you are. Now then. Hopefully he doesn't... He moves... Uh, I want him to move to the middle. Unfortunately. I'm gonna wait. We have no one to cure, so just end your turn. I fight for peace. With the powers in me. They can't all hate you, just remember. We'll be able to Time to work. Hold the line. My turn. Shall we begin? Yeah, we do so much damage and he's dead now. I ain't that slow. This battle is ours. Okay. I only take out Exile, and that's, that's what I gotta worry about. Man, this is... this is very difficult. I think I just gotta take out this guy. Okay, it's fine. End the turn. He's gonna come down, which is gonna cause a little bit of a problem. But now... Oh, fudge, this is bad. Like, why are they all attacking Serenoa? If I crit him here, Serenoa is in big trouble because those three guys will attack him. He has six guys on him if I do that. Eridor can provoke. This guy can't touch anyone. Then I have these two turns here. Then he moves. Can I kill him? If I kill him, it's a little bit easier. He's not a problem. So really, I'm only dealing with two guys that can attack before... I get a bunch of turns. Dude, Roland just got freaking slapped. Um, hmm. So I think maybe... Can you just kill him? This ends here! Okay. Come at me! Eridor, I worry about you being in a little bit of trouble. But if you can provoke everyone here... I put you here. You get those two. You'll just get attacked from behind a bunch, which I have to worry about. But, I can buff him with Benedict and make him super strong and then maybe get in a bunch of free turns because they're all attacking Aragorn. I'm gonna try that. Come and get me! 
Okay, X-Arm can't be provoked. That's my bad. Should have remembered that. Cool heads shall prevail. Okay, so now we just have to cure Roland because he got slapped. Allow me. My apologies. What you did do? Get over here. I see a path to victory. Can't reach him. Um, he's gonna take three hits probably. Roland, if I buff him. Oh goodness. Okay. I think I need to try to keep Roland alive. Stay composed. Ready for more. Okay, so what does he look like now? Okay. I can get you over here, and you're no longer in trouble. How shall I destroy you? You can't do anything yet, big boy. Let me show you what I've learned. Okay. This is where we need some big damage. How do I do it? Does this work? It does. I think I have to do this. Frederica's is gonna get hit. Big. But we need damage. We need it now. We need to start. But where is this guy? Wait. So Anna attacks next, and then this guy way up here. He's not a problem. Roland gets a turn. Then it's X harm though. X harm is a big problem. So he's going to hit someone hard. So we need to try to delay him or something. But I think right now for a turn, we move her here. And we scorch here and we do a bunch of damage. to work. Okay, now this is where we attack. Are these guys not all buried? Did it not work on them? Oh, fudge, what the heck am I supposed to do here then? They'll all go after Anna. Sarah Noah's turn is next. Right? No, Sarah Noah, Sarah Noah doesn't get a turn for a while. Huet's gonna do a lot of good for us, so I need to... Okay. Yeah, see, they all say, like, who's going to attack. I mean, I think it just says who's in the range. It doesn't say who's going to attack who. Yeah. I think I come here. Because, like, see, he can't get her. He can. He can. And he can. But we should still be okay here. Yeah, we're just gonna attack twice. Allow me. Yeah. yeah, I rolled low twice there. It said I was gonna do 10 damage, I only did 9. Okay, so now let's see, how much damage do I do? I do 9? Oh, I do quite a bit there. This is where I'm in trouble, though, because Leonard, Roland's going to get hit from behind. If 
Frederica or Roland are probably dead. Hmm. Maybe not. I just double thrust X arm and then run. My lance strikes true. Uh, did you see that? And sit right here. You are not worthy of my time. Uh, Why did that crit? To occur. Uh, I see your Lord. every opening. Time to take flight. Oh shit, I think I just got unlucky there. He crit on the side. Which really sucks. Yeah, see now we're in trouble. I think Aragor go down like that is not. For victory. Much appreciated. Cool heads shall prevail. Be at ease. The thing about this Thank is, you. like, I think I could do this, but I'm just repeatedly just gonna be behind on experience because people are dying and getting none. Like, no. Eridor is literally getting no experience this whole fight. And it's just like, okay, well, I can still do it, but. So battle, I suppose. Let me show you what I've learned. And what sucks here is now she can't attack at all. If she could have somehow survived, I will end this. It would have been very good, but now we're just in so much trouble. Ha! This will prove useful. Throw poison. Yeah, let's throw poison. Pretty sure X arm is immune to poison and everything. Though. Sheer goal. 
Bolin, you got a turn, but I mean, you're pretty much dead. Take that! Uh, yes! You're out there! For my kingdom! Realize the gulf between our skills. It ends here. Uh, time to take flight. Yeah, this is. I don't think. Don't lose heart, Sarah Noah. Show them that the Wolfords never back down. For the honor of House Wolfort. They just do so much damage. For victory. I can do it. We've been weakened. Yes, we sure have. Who needs to be healed? X Harm's turn is next. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. Um when the hell does Frederica get a turn? Oh, she's next. Okay, sometimes the uh, the turn order gets a little messed up. Frederica can blast these guys. This could save us. Keep Sarah Noah alive. I think that's what I have to do. This will help. And I just run her away. I can still stand. Two ashes. I will do what I must. Rodrigo learned flame shield. What do I do here? I think I go here then? Ah, <laughs> eh, that's... That's not horrible, honestly. Um, we can kill... We gotta be able to kill someone here. You move next, you go down. So I'll attack you. It's over! And then, can I potentially throw poison at you? Yes, I can. Suffer. How shall I destroy you? Sweet. Honestly, that. I mean, she's probably dead now. No, interesting. Okay. Um. Does he get hit by poison on his turn? 
We should be dead. This guy's gotta go. Can I just attack you from right here? No, I gotta move a little bit. Um, what do I want to do? I just want to get out of the way and kill this guy. When is his turn? Six. No, he should be dead. Darkness engulfs you! Forty oh. percent chance, missed. Oh, he's dead, that's so good. In the honor of House Bullfort. Okay, and now we need to start doing some damage. Frederica was alive, we could do some big damage. Unfortunately, she isn't. I think the option here, though, is to just. Fear! Haha! I shall try my level best. I think we take him out. I think that's more important right now. Now! Hello, me! How do I not get hit by a back attack here? I don't think I have an option. This isn't good. Okay, so now, once again, we just try to keep people alive. Your wounds are here. But I mean, if Frederica gets hit by a sandstorm right now, she's dead. Your orders. Jeez, I'm doing some damage here. Victory is within reach. You brute! Sound strike. How shall I destroy you? Ah! Yes! By her grace! <laughs> yes! Shall we begin? It ends here. I mean, he had to use a sandstorm to, work, then. to take her out, which is... I mean, it's not the best, Battle obviously. Bye. It could have been much worse. This battle is I will fight to my last breath. From where shall we strike? He goes from six to seven. What about big boy here? He goes from five to seven. Okay, so it's not worth it. Let's just attack. I shall try my level best. It is time to strike. Much appreciated. This isn't good. I mean, yeah, it's not good, but honestly, it could have been a whole lot worse. Be at ease. Your orders? Thank you for your blessing this day. A worthy foe is a glorious gift indeed. You find the goddess in odd places, Exam. This trifling tourney will bring Hyzant neither riches nor poor. The goddess works in myriad ways, Minister Sorsley. You would do well to keep your eyes attuned. Left yourself open. I asked for no quarter. You did not disappoint. Perhaps one day we can fight as allies. Ooh, perhaps we shall. 
Minister Sorsley. I leave the rest in your capable hands. How shall I destroy you? Sweet. Oh, we snoozing. This battle is ours. From this range. <laughs> Victory is ours. Did not the blind honor him. Of House Wolfort. Five to seven? Yeah, I think that'll that'll do. That hit the mark to lead. I must grow. Cool heads shall prevail. Be at ease. My growth is plain to see. I see a path to victory. <clears throat> My knowledge grows deeper. This battle is ours. Where shall we strike? On your guard! Oh wow, we just That's absolutely the destroyed him this time. Where's he this gonna run to? Most unpleasant. <laughs> Goes after our white mage, how dare you. I mean, thanks for that though, because free experience is nice. Your wounds are healed. Let us pry out their weakness. He has 18 HP left. It is time to strike. How gracious. Time to take flight. Really, I can't get him anywhere. Oh, why was I... I was like, wait, what? No. I, for some reason, I was thinking I couldn't go into the purple words. Oh. Ah, my old wounds flare up again. I can fight no further. Unfortunately, I lost two units, but that wasn't as bad as last time. Ring. Nice. To think they'd get the better of us. Your father taught you well. You wield that great sword with skill beyond your years. Well fought. The day is yours. No, wait, we lost three. I forgot about Roland. Oh, Roland. Victory goes to House Wolfort! Our next bout shall be between General Ablora and Sir Maxwell. May glory go to the victor. Go, Ablora. Stand back. This one is mine. 
<laughs> Very well. I accept your challenge. One-on-one, oh, -on -one. hell yeah. Whoever taught you, they taught you well. Though something tells me you surpassed your teacher long ago. Your defense is formidable. As is yours. I yield. Well, what? <sighs> Victory goes to Sir Maxwell. <sighs> My hand. I can't feel it. <laughs> So that was General of Laura. I pray never to meet her on the battlefield. There will be no quarter given today, young lord of House Woolfort. I would expect nothing less. Oh boy. <laughs> ah, you're awake. And none the worse for wear, considering the blow you took from Sir Maxwell. Uh, he was too strong for us in the end. Today, yes. But let us keep at our training. One day, the students will surpass their master. Oh, okay. Let us work hard for that day, my friend. They're like, no, nah, no, nah, you don't get to fight him right now. You wait. 25 to 30 hours. Then you get your chance. To arms, brave warriors completed. Sarah Noah and his stalwart allies prove their mettle against the realm's fiercest warriors before finally facing Sir Maxwell, victor of the previous tourney. After a hard-fought match, the Dawn Spear emerges victorious once more. Though beaten in the end, Sarah Noah's courageous display impresses itself upon all in attendance. Any doubts concerning House Woolfort's martial might are put to rest. Thus marks an end to the tourney and the festivities as a whole. With the spirit of harmony in their hearts, the delegates of each nation make preparations for their return voyages. Chapter 3, Part 1. Whither the River Flows. We going down the river, baby. Look at that drawbridge action. Seeing our honored guests off shall be your last lordly duty this day. Now, I remind you. It is not to be taken lightly. Worry not, Benedict. They shall be sent off with all the pomp they deserve. You take to your new role well, Lord Serenoa. As I must now take to my own. Pray, visit me at the mines whenever you have the time. Is that a side quest you speak of? Farewell, Frederica. May we never meet again. <laughs> Thank you for such a productive use of our valuable time. I do so love interminable speeches and watching brutes play at war. Truly. The spirit of Glenbrook was on display for all to see. Okay, you two can leave. 
and while they're halfway through the drawbridge, raise it. Oh, but I should watch my tongue. Wouldn't want her to go whimpering to brother. Pay my fool cousin no mind. We have work to do. Work more important than any he could hope to be trusted with. I apologize for those two. This was a fruitful day for all in attendance. I am glad to hear you say so, General of Laura. I can't believe we lost. I thought you were supposed to be one of Hyzet's greatest warriors. Our foe was a worthy one. It would be an honor to cross blades again someday. Thank you for your hospitality. Please give my regards to Lord Simone. Of course, Minister. It would seem everyone is gathered. You'll find your boats are laden with a bounty of Glenbrook's finest wares and victuals. King Regna asks that you eat and drink your fill and toast to our three nations' newfound alliance. More of that swill you call wine? I suppose I could force myself to partake. Your king honors us with his generosity. We shall present these as offerings to the goddess of salt. The Hierophant, too, will no doubt be overjoyed. I am the goddess of salt. Lord Wolford, I bring a message from King Regna. He would have you join our guests on their return voyage to serve as their envoy. This is a great honor, my lord. You would represent our nation and speak with the king's voice. Oh yeah, that doesn't sound suspicious at all. Sure, sign me up. Throw me right in there. If it is his majesty's wish, it is a duty I will gladly accept. But there are two vessels and only one of me. Did King Regna say which of our honored guests I should accompany? He would leave that decision to you, Lord Wilford. Lord Falks, as representative of another of Glenbrook's high houses, will board the ship you do not. And why was House Telior not given this honor? Last I knew, our kingdom had three high houses, not two. The mere fact that you whimper those words before us is answer enough. <sighs> Good show at the tourney, Lord Saranoa. You truly are your father's son. The king has seen fit to leave this decision in your hands, and I shall not gainsay his wisdom. A lord must be worldly as well as wise. I trust you will conduct yourself as befits the lord of a high house. I mean, I'll try, but no promises. Thank you, Sir Maxwell, Lord Falks. Silvio's pissed. The king has entrusted this decision to you, my lord. I suppose you have an idea as to why. He means to test my judgment. He is waiting to see which I choose and for what reason. Indeed. We are friendly with both nations now, so neither choice will earn his ire. That said, there is no telling how these relations may change going forward. Oh, interesting. No doubt, the choice you make will have an effect on our own house's relationship with the nation you choose. Oh, that's actually crazy. That's crazy. I understand. This requires careful consideration. I literally get to choose. Benedict, gather the others. I would hear their opinions on the matter. Then we shall consult the scales of conviction. At once, my lord. I literally get to choose what relation will grow. And what relation will... Will become a little worse. Tavern is now available. 
Foundry shop is now available. Nice. Oh, it even says the scales of conviction, so that's gonna be like a big, big mechanic. Cool. Yo, Crunch, how's it going? Am I actually a tactics master? No. <laughs> what do I think about the amount of dialogue in this game? I don't mind it. I love games like this, so... Give me all the voices. Give me all the voice acting. Give me all the text. All the lore. I'm fine with it. I love story-heavy games, and it's got me intrigued. And that's all it can do two hours in, I guess. So it doesn't seem like there's anything else we can do. Let's head to the encampment and see what's going on. Okay, so we got Grandpa here. Welcome to the sundry shop. You can exchange your kudos for special wares. Those wolf arts always treated me well. There's all I can do to repay your kindness, you need only ask. You'll be able to promote unit classes here too. Oh! Cool. If you're not, I'll let you know when one of your comrades is ready. Now you can exchange kudos for items. Okay. Okay, so promote class. I assume you have to hit a certain level, and then you'll get the option. Every unit has a class, and each class is divided into ranks. Recruit, veteran, and elite. Promoting a unit will increase both their stats and maximum TP, and unlock no acquirable abilities. Raising a unit's class also changes their appearance in battle. That's what I love to see. You can only immediately uh, promote a unit's class if they are at or above the specified level and you have the appropriate medal. Promoting a unit's class will consume the medal. Okay. So he goes from swordsman to sword fighter. I need a medal of bravery and level 10. Cool. Okay. Spear Knight goes to Cavalryman. Tactician goes to Strategist. Pyromancer and Firecaster. Oh, this is fantastic. Physician to Kirist. Spy to Assassin. Oh, heck yeah. Hawkbow to Flyer. And Shield Bearer to Guardian. Cool. This is fantastic. So for right now, everyone's just a recruit, I guess? Something like that? Okay, let's see the trade post. The trade post operates not on coin, but kudos. These kudos can be exchanged for all sorts of items. Quiet... Quietusis? Quietusis? Word I can't pronounce. Cool. Our commands executed immediately in battle. And differ from abilities in three key ways. They do not consume a turn. They consume QP, not TP. Oh, so they're like summons, I guess. Medals are used to promote a unit's class. They come in limited quantities. The new medals will be added as the story progresses. Cool. Oh, so we get some. Some abilities we can buy as well. That is cool. So the kudos are things we get for doing like back attacks, exploding weaknesses, and stuff like that. I mean, let's buy these. All the lore, baby. Okay. There'll be no promoting, obviously. Makes sense, we're not. But three hours into the game. Until next time, let's see what. Let's see what this guy has. Well, if it isn't Lord Saranoa, welcome to the tavern. Well, for its soldiers, I'll have a place to relax as long as I'm around, and I'll stick with you till the end. Perhaps you ought to consider dropping for a drink and a chat every so often, too. Uh, mental mock battles. You can engage in mental mock battles at the tavern. Each battle is different, so choose the one that best suits your aims.
proficiency in melee combat will prove key to victory. Cut your teeth in this small arena before moving on to more advanced trials. Okay, so what will this do for us? Do we, like, gain levels or anything? Unit placement. There's a limit to the number of units you may deploy in battle. Units over the threshold go into your reserves and will not participate in battle. Use the X button to access the screen. Okay, cool. Units that may prove especially helpful in battle are marked recommended. There's no penalty if you don't deploy recommended units. Okay. If I need your approval. I guess just for now we'll try this out, just to see how it works. We get experience, this would be nice, but I don't really think that that's the case here. Basic training. Watch me lose this fight. <laughs> My turn. My turn. Where shall we strike? On your guard. Okay, we do get experience here. I see a path to victory. Um, that can be very good. Stay composed. Interesting. Oh, and you can win resources as well. Okay. I shall do what I can. Can, which is nothing right now. I will end this. Raises an ally's fire resistance for two turns and grant them the ability to counter fire attacks. That could come in useful. Okay. okay why are you weak? Oh, because you're an ice unit. Okay. Ice arrow. Deal ice type physical damage to a single enemy and freeze the ground. With the powers in me, we can win this. Oh, this is a problem. Time to work. So who attacks? Roland will attack next. Ooh, what do we do? What do we do? I think we just hold off for now. Because I think that means it'll hit Saranoa. Okay. So there is unit detection. Jeez, I'm not sure what I want to do here. I think I'm just going to end my turn. Charge! Roland is going to get slapped pretty hard. But there's nothing else I can do without putting him in extreme danger. Careful! Oh, that's so lucky. is not an option. Kill, you're dead. Here! May I? Let me heal your wounds. Allow me. I can keep fighting! Ah! 
Yeah, okay, we get it. Let us pry out their weakness. Always. Stay composed. Thank you. I cannot lose. I think hitting these two is the best option here. Please heed my call. I'll pull it back a little. It's fine. Come on down. My turn. Okay, this is where we can do some damage now. Who should we hit a bunch? I think this guy back here. Strike. I feel stronger already. Oh, and we leveled up. Heck yeah. So this will be a good way to sound strike. My turn. Yeah, Roland, you have to attack. I really feel like you should kill someone though. It's his turn next. I should just kill him. You don't stand a chance. From where shall we strike? What? Scared the heck out of me. How's it going, Steve? I don't have my headphones plugged into my speakers. You guys probably heard the echo there. <laughs> On your guard. Ha -ha! May I? Oh, she did one damage. Okay, so you gotta hit these guys from the back because they have a giant shield. That makes sense. Um... I shall try my level best. I think we can kill this guy, but we get some experience. Unless we want to do something else. Ah, no, let's do this. Ah! There you go. Cool heads shall prevail. Honestly, not getting a lot of experience, unfortunately, but. Be at ease. You have my gratitude. Man, the damage. Freaking damage. You know what? You'll die, though. Huh. Hello, me! My oh, that turn. was dumb of me, but... Still gonna be okay. Should I just throw poison at everyone? Take this. Suffer. Victory is within reach. Take this. This'll hurt. It didn't work. Uh oh. Someone's gonna get slapped hard. Uh, Actually, for victory. not that bad. we strike ah! you're open there is no mercy on the battlefield try to find a way to kill this guy I guess when poison hits him My turn. Uh, he should be dead 
Let me heal your wounds. Okay, who are we healing? Well, honestly, this fight went pretty good. Can't complain about that. Convictions are being strengthened a bunch there. I don't know why, but... Okay, so... Didn't really do anything for me, but... I'll be a stranger. My convictions went up four times there. I don't know why. I wonder, I can upgrade my weapon rank as this class, but what happens if I... That's the thing, I don't know what happens. When I promote my units, or I might... whatever. Oh, I can buy some of this stuff to upgrade. Interesting. I need a bunch, though. So I need two. One and one. Two. Honestly, getting two fiber for Frederica might be good. Yeah, so you can see, like, she's still the same class there. It's just upgraded. So when I do promote... There's probably other ranks that I gotta go through as well. There's a lot going on here. See, Roland only level 2. Eridor only level 2. It's a little worrying. I need to try to get them experience somehow. this on someone? I can, okay. I think, honestly, I'm gonna give it to Roland. It's 83 health now. He may be able to survive a little bit longer. He's still fairly weak. A little worrying. But that's because he's died in literally every fight, and I haven't been able to do anything. Uh, main story. Sarah Noah decides whether his house will make the journey to the Grand Duchy of Esfrost or the Holy State of Hyzant. It seems your first test as Lord has come. Is no small matter either. Oh, don't worry about it. Indeed. But I needn't face it alone. I would ask each of you where you think we should go and why. State your case before the scales of conviction. Then we shall decide our destination. Oh, interesting. We take a vote and the consensus determines our action. Is that it? That is correct. So long as my allies walk by my side, their opinions carry equal weight to mine. Wait. Such is the way of House Wolfort. Wait, so I don't get to choose? They're gonna choose? No. No. Game's not gonna do me dirty like that. As Lord, I shall bear the weight of consequence for the scale's decision, whatsoever they may be. You are... More serious than usual, my friend. 
He understands what it means to be lord of his house. Well, I hope you have room for a stowaway, because I'm going to. In secret, of course. I trust the new Lord Wolfort will handle the ponderous negotiations and diplomacy with grace. <laughs> Your Highness, you cannot be... Roland is such a... <laughs> the best friend a man could ask for is Roland. You may stay ashore if you wish, Huet. You know I cannot allow that. If you insist on going, then I shall attend you. Well then, it would seem the matter is settled. There is exactly one coin for each of us. It seems fate has conspired to bring balance to our proceedings. Curious. Curious? I see it as a sign that the heavens approve of my joining you. You are ever the optimist, my friend. Shall we proceed, my lord? One coin, one vote. Very well. I would hear each of your thoughts on the matter in turn. Okay, so I assume it's gonna go... It'll be like three for S Frost, three for Hazant, and then I'll make the final decision with my coin. I would assume that that's what they're gonna do here. Then you shall place your coin upon the scales of conviction and illuminate the road ahead. Maybe not if Benedict votes, then if that's not how it works. As Frost or Hazant, well, would that we had the time to visit both. Although I may not have my own token of conviction, it is my duty to lend an ear to their arguments. Oh, so I don't get to choose. An honest exchange of opinions will hopefully lead to a decision that satisfies all who vote. The path of the story will be determined of the consens by the consensus of your party. It's played out through voting scenes. Each of your allies will cast their vote according to his or her own convictions. As the player, you will be bound in the decision of the majority. <laughs> no way! Before voting commences, you may attempt to persuade the others to change their minds. Whether or not your attempt succeeds will only be revealed when the votes are cast. The strength of Sereno's convictions will affect the chances of success. This is actually really cool. The key to winning over your party is gathering the necessary information beforehand. That information may not always be found in the same room where the votes are cast, so be proactive in talking to everyone you meet on your journey. Oh, so it really just comes down to what Anna wants as of right now. So Roland Huet and Arab Eridor want to go to Esfrost. And Benedict Frederica and Gila want to go to Hizan, and Anna doesn't know what the hell she wants. Well, let's see. Lord Saranoa. Esfrost's soldiers are said to be among the strongest in all of Narzelia. However, that is only hearsay. I mean to judge them for myself. Well, I wish to visit the holy state of Hazant. I'd have better luck talking to a wall. Well, no, I don't want to. I want to go to Esfrost, so. We're fine here. Okay, let's see. Saranoa. Uh, Frederica, I've always wondered when I might visit the country where my mother was born. How does she spend her youth? I would very much like to see. This one should listen to reason. I wish to visit the Grand Ducky of Esfrost. Ducky. 
the Grand Ducky. <laughs> Hello, I'm here to see the Grand Duck. <laughs> oh, this isn't where the Grand Duck is? We should have went to Hyzant. So I'll just postpone them all for now while we go look around. What the frick? Hello. Until now, Frederica's position has offered her a few chances to visit Hyland. Deepening your relations with the Holy State would doubtless be to your benefit as well. Why not use this opportunity to let Frederica realize a long-held wish in the meantime? Well, okay, well, calm down. We may still get there eventually. Lord Serenella. Hazan's Ministry of Medicine is said to be a beacon of progress in both medicine and magic. I believe we would benefit greatly from seeing the fruits of their knowledge with our own eyes. Okay, so honestly, all three that want to visit Hazan are on my side. Lord Serenella. He went, don't give him what I say, that's fine. Say. Doubtless S. Frost will be a close partner in the days ahead. It would be wise to see how they live, don't you think? Yes. Oh, wow. None of them... I I think I'm stuck going S. Frost anyways. Even if I wanted to go to Hyzant, I don't, I'm not convincing anyone. Listen, lad. Can't very well say Hazan holds much appeal to me. Varsity and Exarm are too clever by half. I'm sure the people of Esfrost will give a warm reception, even if their weather won't. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe talking to these guys will change. Will change some people's minds. Prince Franny and Minister Patriot are waiting to see off our esteemed guests. You said to ask them if you have any questions on the matter. King Rigna expects great things of you, Lord Saranoa. If there's anything I can do to be of service, simply say the word. Uh, I should like to learn more about the holy state of Hyzant. I know they lay claim to the source, and thus all Merzelia's salt. All the salt. This is where I belong. I should like to know more about Frederica's home. I hear the Grand Duchy of Esfrost is known for its views of non-freedom. I should like to hear more about our home of Glenbrook. Are there any problems I should be aware of? Uh, let's learn about Esfrost. I would have thought you an expert on the subject, considering your bride to be hails from that very land. But allow me to tell you what I know. Esfrost is nestled within the snowy mountains to the north, and is famed for its abundance of iron and expertise in smithing. Their elite soldiers, known as the Black Irons, managed to make quite the name for themselves during the Salt Iron War. The nation is held by Archduke Augustadolf, Lady Frederica's older brother, and though he holds most of Esfrost's political power, he encourages people to act freely and promotes individuals on the basis of ability rather than blood or social status. I see, that sounds wonderful. Perhaps it does now, but we mustn't forget that they were the very ones who caused the war of 30 years past. They're an ambitious people living in a cold and harsh nation, which makes me think that hunger up there is still alive and well. Pray forgive me. I forget myself sometimes. I hope my foolish ramblings have not clouded your judgment. The decision is yours to make, Lord Serenoa, and I'm sure you will choose most wisely. Yeah, we're going, uh, Esfrost. Lord Wolfort, I know your position as head of your house comes with many responsibilities. But being party to Roland's fancies is not one of them. I hope you understand that. Roland is doing what he can for the kingdom in his own way, 
It's his older brother, I'm sure you can see that. Roland may be a prince, but he is also like a brother to me. I sort of do all I can in the service of the crown. I appreciate your concern, Prince Franny, and hope that you and I can be friends as well, just like our fathers before us. I, I like that one. You cannot win my favor as you have my brothers. House Wolfport may be a vassal to the crown, but they also possess a very special power. Closing up to the royal family will do nothing but arouse needless suspicion. Shit, Franny, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me for trying to be friends. My apologies. I will be more cautious of the boundaries between the high houses and the crown for the sake of the kingdom. I'm glad we have an understanding. I hope you know that I acknowledge both the power and good faith of House Wolford. Pray do not fan the flames of my brother's foolishness any further. Well, Franny. Lord Serenoa. Okay, so Anna, as Froster has on, it makes no difference to me. Where you go, I shall follow. Bill, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the matter, my lord. I wish to visit the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. They say Esfrost is the nation of iron and ice. What about it appeals to you? Oh, that is so cool because I learned about the smuggler. I can now use that in my negotiations. I heard a story of a smuggler pursued by Esfrost's military. I'd like to hear more of the story of what his crimes were to deserve such a grave response. Indeed. A smuggler? It must have been a bold crime indeed for us to be speaking of it now. I wonder what he was peddling to risk so much. I too would be interested to hear more of the stories. Thank you for sharing, my lord. I see now why you wish to visit us, Frost. Anna is deep in thought. Okay, so now, here we Serenella. go. Serenella. You wish to visit Esfrost? Might I ask why? Oh, and because I spoke about Hazan earlier, where they said they don't like the people. Ah, interesting. Okay, so the people of Hazan may not be as welcoming as you believe. We're going to go with this one because I unlocked it. So, you know, one of the things that's going to drive me insane is I'm going to eventually get to a point where I have to do this. And it's going to stay locked because I miss talking to someone. No. Is it because I am Rosellen? Please, I do not need others to presume upon my feelings. I am proud of the hair my mother gave me. I do not concern myself with the opinions of others. You seem to have given quite a... But a thought to this question, Serenola. And? If we do travel to Esfrost, how would you like to spend our visit? Oh wow, I literally learned everything I need to. I intend to see relation between our two nations deepened as much for our own marriage as for the future of our mining venture. I was hoping you could show me your home, if you are willing. I want to see a society built by the ambitious. Society free from stifling pomp and circumstance. Yeah. Surely. I see. As Frost is indeed unique in that it is not birth that determines your greatness, but ability. I can see why you would be interested in such a place, Serenoma. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with me. I shall consider them as I come to form my own opinion. Oh, we got some more undecided now. Heck yeah. So what if I... This is all information I'm learning, right? Yeah. So I probably could have used the Ice Mage to convince someone to go to Hazant. Probably. The Ministry of Medicine is probably another one. And the Archives. Oh no. The archives might be how I convince Benedict. We'll see. Lord Serenoma. Okay, Gila. I wish to visit 
your heart is truly set on this for us, I'd be curious to know your reasons. I mean, we're going to talk about the Captain Smuggler. But first, I wish to know more about my betrothed. What better way to do that than to visit her home? Sorry. Um, I wish to know more about my betrothed. What better way to do that than to visit her home? Although S Frost may be cold, I find the chill much more preferable to the heat. I mean, that's true. Or, uh, a story I heard of the particularly skilled smuggler caught my attention. They even sent the military after him. I wonder what he could have been peddling. Yeah. Ah, yes, although I cannot say if we speak to the same person, I did hear tell of a man that had been caught smuggling salt into S Frost. Indeed. Curious. I suppose with this joint mining venture before us, such matters would pique your interest. My mind is made up. I believe I have more than enough food for thought. Okay, Benedict. Lord Serenella. What interest have you in the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, my lord? I've heard much over the grand ear of Esfrost City. A lord should take an interest in how life is lived in other nations. I'd like to visit Frederica's homeland, both to sate my own curiosity and for the sake of our marriage. Or their country is built on unfettered trade. Being lord of a mercantile hub, that idea holds great interest to me. Ah yes, certainly a fascinating aspect of their society. However, I find Hyzant's claims of universal equality to be even more intriguing. I appreciate your point of view, my lord. There's much I must think over before I reach a final decision. Certainly not. Of course, if you have further thoughts on the matter, then I would be all too glad to hear them. Oh wow, we get another option here to convince him. As for us achievements in ironwork, are second to none, have you no interest in seeing such marvels? Truth be told, I find this frost chilling winds more appealing than the stifling sands of Hyzant. Knowledge is the foundation of power. We can learn very much by wandering the archives for a spell. Ah, this'll convince them. Why, true. Ah, the archives. The seat of the world's knowledge. Even the most erudite among us is but a fool before those countless tomes. I am decided. You have given much. You have given me much to consider, my lord. I shall take your perspective into account when making my decision. Okay, well. The thing is, is I don't. Say. Like. I don't want to persuade him to go to Vazan, so I'm going to miss her on some dialogue, but that's fine. Second playthrough, anyone? <laughs> So let's head up here and see if there's anything. No. Okay. So it looks like we can go. And persuasion phase and commence voting. Yep. Let's go, team. It is time to cast our votes. Do we journey to the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, or the Holy State of Hyzant?
wouldn't it be funny if, like, they completely just disregarded everything I said, and they voted seven to no, or seven to zero to go to Hezont? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. You make a convincing argument, my lord. We shall have a chance to visit Hyzanth again in the future. Of that I am certain. Exactly. I wholeheartedly agree. If that is your desire, then I shan't argue against it. I have no qualms with that. You made a convincing argument. Desirable attribute in a young lord. Hell yeah. You have my vote. Where my lord goes, I follow. Hewitt said nothing. Eridor also said nothing. Okay. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. Hyzant. <laughs> oh, look at that. I got them all on my side. The way forward is decided. We journey to Esfrost. We have decided. We set sail for Esfrost. Whether or not it proves to be the right choice will depend on our actions. I trust in you all. We are ready to set sail, Lord Patriot. Very good, my lord. When you pay respects to the Archduke, remember that you do so on behalf of our king. Archduke Gustadoff will be pleased that you chose to honor our nation with a visit. I'm sure he is eager to get to know his new brother-in-law as well. The feeling is mutual, I assure you. Does this mean she is coming back too? I feel myself getting sick already. Honestly, you two little farts, I don't care what you think. I'm just doing this for Avlora. And if she doesn't join me after this, then what the hell is the point? swill they call wine will taste even more vile now, I fear. <sighs> My lady, are you sure you wouldn't prefer to stay at Castle Woolfort? Nonsense. I am coming with you. Like a whole chapter of just chatting. Y'all, I mean, I'll save my game. I've been playing for six and a half hours, and there's been two fights. It's a little crazy, honestly. Zeranoa, acting as King Regna's envoy, charts a course down the Norzelia River for the Duchy of Esfrost. Ere long, Zeranoa and crew arrive at a massive gate, itself dwarfed by the snow-covered mountains that lie beyond. Awaiting them at Twins Gate, as it is known, is Farag Esfrost, second in power and influence Svarog. only to the Archduke himself. Svarog himself. A land of snow and ice. Chapter 3, Part 2. Chapter 3, Part 2.
When the hell did I get to chapter three? Evlora, Erica, Thallus. Welcome home. I trust the ceremony was a fruitful one. Twas my duty as minister to be present. Thank you for having us in your domain, Uncle. The crags are lovely as ever. <sighs> Lord Sparog, I present to you Lord Serenoa Wolfort. Come on behalf of King Regna. Lord Sparog. Why? Why is that name so hard to say? Sparog. Ah, the Wolfort boy. Frederica's betrothed, yes? The very same, my lord. I thank you for the warm welcome. The honor is mine, Lord Serenoa. Svarog Esfrost at your service. I watch over Twinsgate, the front door of our duchy. Lord Svarog is father to Dragan, and uncle to the Archduke and myself. We did not expect to see you again so soon, Frederica. But I understand wanting to show off your handsome groom-to-be. Uncle, please. You embarrass me. <laughs> Good to see you're still not afraid to speak your mind. Honestly, I don't know. I, it happens to me every game. I, I don't know if I've just played too many JRPGs or what. But literally, every person I've met so far, I'm like, he's going to turn on me. He's evil. He's evil. I don't trust anyone. <laughs> a word of advice, lad. You do well not to anger her. I shall take your words to heart. Tis quite the burden you're undertaking, my friend. Prince Roland, I did not expect you'd be in attendance. Yeah, don't tell anyone. It's been quite some time, Lord Svarog. But today I come as an attendant to House Wolfort. A secret visit, then. Say no more. King Regna thanks Lord Dragan for all he has done for the mining effort. His engineering prowess has proved indispensable. As his boasting has no doubt proved intolerable. Forgive the boy, my lord. <laughs> that said, rest assured his goals are sincere. He truly does wish to lead us into a new era. I pray you'll lend him the strength to see that it becomes a reality. You have my word. You expect great things from him, then? Against my better instincts, perhaps. But such is my lot as the boy's father. <laughs> but forgive me. No doubt you are weary from your journey. I shall keep you no longer. Archduke Gustadolf awaits you at Ironstone. Then we shall take our leave. Thank you, Lord Svarog. stuff I can do. Oh, there is. It's just a side story, not necessarily a side fight or anything. Okay. Franny and Cordelia talk about their brother Roland in his absence. They're shit talking. I know it. Or Franny will. Brother? Where is Roland? I've yet to see him today. And you shan't, for he has left. Took it upon himself to join the mission abroad. Oh, well, so much for it being a secret. He did? I... I see. Again, prioritizing his personal wishes above his station. Is there no end to his selfishness? You haven't any love for him, have you? Love. I would rather think of him as little as humanly possible. Oh, wow. How can you say that? He's family. Royal family. And our duty is to the crown above all. 
Do not look to Roland for inspiration if you wish to carry yourself in a manner befitting your station, dear Cordelia. I guess you can say, uh, Franny does not like us. seem to be anything else. Main story, House Wolford arrives at Ironstone where they are greeted by Archduke Gustadolf. Do a save here in case there's a fight. looks gorgeous. I am Gustadon, Archduke of Esfast. Allow me to personally welcome you to my nation. I hear I am addressing the new lord of House Wolfert, yes? Sarah Noah Wolfert, your grace. It is an honor to have an audience with you. On behalf of King Regna and all of Glenbrook, you have our sincere gratitude for your generous contributions to the mining effort. Consider your gratitude accepted. Avlora informs me that you fought well in the tourney. I would much like to see for myself how the legendary Simon Sun carries himself in battle. I train twice as hard, yet I'm not half the warrior he is. It is good that you make such effort. I would expect no less for my brother-in-law to be. Norzelia is changing. The time when matters were settled by Blade draws to a close. In the spirit of this age of diplomacy, I would hear your honest thoughts on the Mining Accord. Oh boy, here we go. I believe it an important alliance that may bring harmony to our three nations. It is a lucrative enterprise that stands to benefit all of our nations equally. I cannot shake the fear that our visions do not align, and this fragile alliance may not hold. I mean, honestly, that's... That's what I think, but is that the smartest thing to say right now? You kind of want to look strong here. I believe it's an important alliance that may bring harmony to our three nations. Well, I mean, is it a fragile alliance? No, I don't really think it is. I mean, for what I think, I do think it's a fragile alliance, but for right now, there hasn't really been anything that has come out to Sarah Noah that would make it seem like there's a fragile alliance, would there? Oh, this is gonna drive me insane. Because when we were speaking earlier, Dragan and Lila, they agreed. So I mean, like, honestly, I don't really think it's a fragile alliance right now. 
We're going to go with this first one. I believe in an important alliance that may bring harmony to our three nations. I believe it an important alliance that may bring harmony to our three nations. Hmm, an uninspiring answer, and naive at that. Do you truly believe that each of our nations aspires to the same harmony? And what is it that you aspire to, Your Grace? Damn it. Why, peace for all of Norzelia, of course. Peace and freedom for all its peoples to live as they please. Frederica, do not lose sight of your role in all of this. Stand by Serenoa always, and represent Esfrost with pride and grace. I shall, brother. Prince Roland, as you have come in secret, I will dispense with formalities. I appreciate the consideration, Your Grace. That said, does King Regna not worry that his younger son visits a foreign land on his own? I am no longer a child, and it is a prince's duty to be worldly. A fine outlook. In that case, I would show you to the archives. It holds countless tomes, from the ancient to the new. I dare say it rivals that of Hyzant's Ministry of Medicine. An intriguing offer, and one I gladly accept. Lord Wolford, you and your men are free to join us as well. Truly, Your Grace? I understand the Archives hold many a closely guarded secret. And rest assured, I have no intention of giving those away. <laughs> but now that we are allies, through mining and marriage alike, a brief tour is more than in order. I guess I should have went with the one I wanted to. Meanwhile, in the city streets, someone's up to no good. Beg your pardon, but I heard this is where the salt flows cheap like. Not here, it doesn't. Go bother someone else. I'm not asking for my health. Here's an advance. How much do you need? As much as you can spare. I'm good for ten times what I gave you. I'm not to sell you now. Come back tonight, money in hand, to the spot marked here. And I know your face, so don't try anything stupid. You have my word. That looks like the spot on the map, just there. Right then, Sickers, I've got the location for you. This is where they do their dirty work. I knew you were the man for the job. Excellent work, Rudolph. My name's cleared then, yeah? I'll be pardoned? You have my word. That said, our forces are stretched quite thin this evening. Yeah, okay, so this was definitely the small group that got captured, but they must have said, hey, if you give us the location of the salt dealers, we'll let you go. I mean... Yeah. We'll need you to assist in apprehending them as well. Risk my life in exchange for a pardon? Are you mad? We need you. These fiends are swindling the poor, selling them impure salt mixed with all manner of unsavory things. They must be jailed at all costs. Fine. I'll help you bring him in. Glad to hear it. You're too good a man to be branded a criminal. Don't you flatter me after all this. You saw him, didn't you? They don't work alone. An operation like this ain't run by one man. And last I checked, we're only two. We'll assemble reinforcements. Interesting.
What an astounding collection of tomes. The sum of Norzelia's knowledge, including volumes thought lost or banned outright in other nations. I did not expect to see so many people in a facility so important. Each and every one is a scholar conducting important research in their field of expertise. Scholars? All of them? Brother gives no thought to background, gender, or social status during the selection process. All in Esfrost are given equal opportunity, provided they show desire and aptitude. Of course, we prize ability above all else. So long as they produce results, they are free to research as they please. Most open-minded approach. Indeed. I see now how Esfrost arrives at its marvels of engineering. This portion contains the collected writings on metallurgy and our nation's rich history with iron. Our ancestors were but a tribe of impoverished hunters until the man who would become our first Archduke discovered iron. Iron changed our lives. It transformed the way we worked, farmed, built, and fought. The history of iron is the history of Esfrost. It is our pride and joy, the engine that drives us. My father told us that Esfrost is made of iron, that neither its people nor weapons would bend. <laughs> Just so, Prince Roland. Your Grace. Forgive me the interruption. I have unfortunate news regarding the issue of which we spoke. So you require reinforcements. I was going to say. Say no more. This is how we get thrown into this fight. Then there was the matter of the pardon. On which my thinking has not changed. We will speak no more of this. Understood. Honored guests, I would consult with you on an important matter. Where is he not going to pardon him after this? This is Sikris, commander of Esros Constabulary. Has something happened? We have discovered an illicit salt trade operating within our borders. Yet we lack, at the moment, the manpower to address it. Might we have your assistance in apprehending the scoff laws? Why, I would... Lord Saranoa, matters of salt are fraught. I advise you not to engage without a clear strategy. I understand it is a complex issue. Needless to say, I would not force this upon you. <sighs> Sounds simple to me. Just bring in some criminals to justice, yeah? I say aye, my lord. I concur. What better way to thank His Grace for a tour of the archives? Then it is settled. We shall help you. I could not be more thankful. Sikris, brief our friends on the situation. Of course, Your Grace. Come, I shall show you to the garrison. Secrets in charge of maintaining the peace in Esfrost as a secret matter to discuss with Theranoa. I'm honored to have House Wolford fight at our side. As I am happy to be of service. Now then, what is the situation? Eisen's excessive salt taxes have given rise to an illicit salt trade that plagues the duchy. I have heard tell that the tariffs are exorbitant, but I have not heard a price. 
Let it suffice to say that the cost of a single handful of salt could feed a family for a month. But heavens. As such, demand for salt, even impure or stolen, is nigh on infinite. A crime, to be sure, but a necessary evil for the poor. Tight regulation risks drawing their ire. Perhaps we should not have agreed to this so readily. Indeed, the Archduke has a sharp mind and a silver tongue. My brother may appear generous and open-minded, but one should never feel too safe around him. I was too eager, my lord. And for that, I apologize. Great. Great. I was the one who agreed. Fraud as the matter is, I could not refuse the Archduke to his face. Illicit salt trade would threaten the salt revenue on which the duchy depends. Thus, they feel they must intervene, correct? Precisely. We understand the plight of the people without question. On matters of maintaining order, however, we cannot waver, lest seams in the social fabric be rent asunder. I understand the circumstances and wish to reiterate that you have our support. How would you employ us? Our spy has already discovered where the smugglers operate. A transaction is to occur tonight. We shall make a move once our spy lures the smugglers into the open. Understood. Then we shall familiarize ourselves with the town by nightfall. I'd best get my bearings. Perhaps a walk around the city in the archives is in order. Some merchants are open for business during the expiration phase. They may be selling rare items you'll not find at the provisioner in the encampment. You'd be wise to speak with any shopkeepers you meet. Heck yeah. Welcome. How can I be of service today? What do you got? fire type magic damage to a single enemy and sets the ground ablaze. Oh wow. Deals wind type magic damage to a single enemy and spreads the fire. Oh now we're getting into some some tactics, okay. I await your next visit. You must take security in the city, stopping one sale of illicit salt, it will be worth it. Our spies tell us an illegal sale will take place here this evening. Are you gonna help me fight? I hope so. Who knows that Lord Sparrog is Arch Archduke Gustadolf's uncle? Sure. What they don't know is that he'll never be Archduke he's the son of a concubine so well let's just leave it at that Svarog I'm not too happy about that She spends a small fortune on salt imports, given the distance. Salt itself is ever more expensive, so they hire guards to protect it. Guards need to be paid. That costs. That costs pass to the people. The old salt tax. Lord Dragon is desperate to make his grand entrance on the political stage. We're desperate for his actions to match his ambition. Not that Thales will formally recognize him anyhow. Dragons on the wrong side of a fork in the bloodline two generations back. This path leads to the Iron Stone. I cannot let you pass. Fair enough. You'll find the Iron Works, our pride and joy, over in the Iron Stone. The heat from it is what keeps us going. And the heat is the thing, you see. It's what gives our iron the strength it's known for.
General Lavlora's predecessor was a woman as well. She retired from the Salt Iron War. She was a warrior the likes of which we'd never see again. Until General Lavlora took her place, that is. Rumor has it she's the second coming. Oh, that'd be cool if we got to see who trained Avlora eventually down the road. Enter the S. Frosty archives? No. How do I get up top there? Oh, I'm in. Obtain the recovery pellet. duty to stamp with the illicit salt trade, no matter how much ire I drop on the people in doing so. What good is the rule of law if I allow this to continue unhindered? I bet you would all but collapse. They'll pay you for as much iron as you can haul out of the mine, but it's not easy money. It comes with the tax paid and sweat blood. Only in this frost can you go to sleep of offering a wake richer than a prince. Ooh! How do I get there? The Archduke respects our independence. It is our duty to prove we are worthy of such trust. Proper salt is expensive, yeah? But don't worry, I can save you some money if you like. Oh. We got ourselves a smuggler right there. Did you know the Duchess army has a contingent mounted on hawks? Makes fighting over the mountains easier, see? Interesting. Oh, best game. 10 out of 10 game. Do you reckon they'll actually pardon me? Guess I'll find out soon as I've already agreed to help. No, Rudolph, I don't think they're going to. I think you're about to get shafted. The constabulary is conspicuously present. No doubt watching for signs of illegal salt trading. Okay, let's talk to Frederica. How are you finding the duchy, Sarno? Has anything about our way of life caught your attention? The advantages that ironmongering affords the duchy are quite evident. For all, your f for all the freedom you enjoy, I cannot help but notice the poverty of the people. I admire your commitment to education. Is it true that any and all may make use of the archives? I like this one. For all the freedom you enjoy, I cannot help but notice the poverty of the people. I shan't deny it. Many of them say the salt terrace drove them to ruin. Building our society around iron mining and smelting has made us mighty, but not invulnerable. Our people are not guaranteed to find work at high wages, for example. We grant the freedom of opportunity, not success. Freedom men and neurotic Rossi do not easily mix, I see. Meritocracy? Freedom and a meritocracy do not easily mix, I see. I don't know, maybe. The duchy is harsh, but I believe it is good. Oh, yes, thank you. Ooh, 600. Looks like the merchant is having a, shall we say, spirited disagreement with the customer. I'd ask as to the price of salt, but that would not get a word in. I'll take as much salt as this will buy. Aye, that'll get you this much. There you are. Is that all? I could swear it bought more. Costs more to get it now, I'm afraid. This is the best I can do. The illegal salt's only cheaper because it's dodging tax. Of course, it's nowhere near as good. They're cutting it with inferior stuff. I don't know where they're getting it, but I'd be out of business if I sold it at their prices. Interesting. <laughs> Added recruitment notice to note. What? Read those eventually. Hmm. 
Have you heard of the great? Have you heard of the story of General Aflora? The Duchy's soldiers are to be believed she began as a lowly foot soldier and rose all the way to general. But clearly, might still carry one quite far in the, du in the duchy. I wager she's no match for the Dawn Spear. She's a force to be reckoned with. Come to study the mining techniques of the S. Frosty, seeing as we'll be working side by side in the mines. And study I shall. Every tome I've opened has so much. Yeah, has so much to teach me. Good thing, too, seeing as they pride themselves on their mining. May I never again see destruction like that the South Iron War unleashed upon Norzelia. It took many moons in the Duchy and the Holy State to rebuild their capitals and domains in the aftermath. I shudder to think what would have become of the continent had Glen Burke not intervened. Hold the Norzelia to notes, okay. On the symptoms of salt deficiency. Headaches, reduced circulation, palpitations of the heart, severe cases resulted in patients losing consciousness. The sheer number of tomes in the archives can be overwhelming as it is, and yet there are even more that never see the light of day. A collection of tightly restricted works rests beneath, beneath the main archives. One needs special dispensation to even lay eyes on them. Well, let's go. The duchy takes great pains to open wide the gates of knowledge and education. People are free to pursue their studies as they see fit, and any may rise to prominence on their own merits, regardless of station. This is undoubtedly one of the Duchy's strengths. Surviving the frost and inquiring into the hardiness of various vegetables in the cold climes. Looking for vegetables capable of growing in such a harsh climate, seems vegetables with green leaves are the winners. Obtained a magic ring, heck yeah. The Goddess of Salt's teachings tell us that the Roselle must bear the stain of their collective sins from birth. Hmm, okay. I used to see a rather eccentric woman in here all the time, but she's not shown her face in many moons now. She was incredibly fond of rocks, as I recall, and intelligent beyond her years. I wonder what became of her. All of us are researchers, yes. Ah, but what sort and what truths do we pursue? Eh? Hmm? Ask and you may not find a common answer among us. Some shift focus as it suits the army, others pursue a single academic thread for decades. Tell me, as someone not of the duchy, how would you use a collection of finely honed intellects? Uh, research leads to wisdom that lasts for generations. All of it is worthwhile. Knowledge should not be a vehicle for fame and fortune. All should be free to study what they please. I ask you in response, what joy is there in study that does not benefit the nation? Knowledge should not be a vehicle for fame and fortune. All should be free to study what they please. Interesting. Research leads to wisdom that lasts for generations. All of it is worthwhile. This I believe as lord of my domain. I expected no less from the lord of the most famous high hopes in all Glenbrook. You speak your mind where few others would dare. You're quite right, good sir. Absent unfettered research. 
I doubt our forebears would have blessed us with the gift of the foundries. May I be so lucky to repay my debt to them with an equally worthy contribution to our great society. I saw shiny. Added salt and meats to the notes. What's this? Okay, well, I think I'm done here now. I think we're done. We can just exit the exploration. I think I chatted with everyone I could. I don't really have a whole lot of whole lot of money, so I don't want to go too crazy on some of this stuff. Okay, let's conclude the exploration. I believe I have the lay of the land now. I should make my way back to Sir Cyprus and await nightfall. Snowy Knight, Seacrest, and House the Walport make their way to where an illicit exchange is about to take place. Battle in the snowy streets. <laughs> 